welcome to the Sew Essential vlog. I'm here today just to share with you a couple of new pattern lines that we've added to the website and also I've just done some pattern picks of my favourites from some of the new issues from the big four pattern companies as well. Um, so first thing I want to mention is the closet case patterns that we've just added to the website. I'm really excited to have closet case patterns on board. Um, I've always liked their patterns and the amount of reviews and blog posts I've seen on all of their different patterns is just overwhelming. They're incredibly popular um, and I always think that's a good endorsement. So um, there's a couple of jeans patterns that they've, they do which are the Morgan jeans and the Ginger jeans. Um, and I've seen so many people make um, versions of these and they look absolutely fab and they're very highly recommended. Um, there's also a lovely raincoat pattern which I've seen at the Kelly Anna Rack, which I've seen a lot of people make as well. Um, there's a nice coat pattern, a pyjamas pattern. Um, there's a new shirt dress pattern as well, um, which is, has come out very recently. Um, so yeah, they're just a really cool range of super modern, um, I think really wardrobe basics to be honest I would call them um, you know the sort of thing that you'll wear time and time again um, and while I mention the jeans I should mention that we have added a load of new denims to our website as well so I just want to show you this one which is absolutely lovely it's a mid blue stretch and there is a nice amount of stretch in that denim um, so that would be ideal for making any of the, the stretch jeans or the jeans patterns that require stretch um, denim and uh, yeah I just can't I think these patterns are really exciting and I can't wait to to get started and start making some myself um, so that's closet case patterns the other new pattern company that we've added to the website is Jolly Patterns. So um, they're a Canadian company, um, and there are quite a, a big. There's quite a large selection, really, of the Jolly patterns on the website. Um, they do a lot of sportswear. So if you're into making gym gear for yourself, or if you're into making leotards and gymnastics outfits or dancing outfits for younger ones, um, there's all of those boxes are ticked really, really well. Um, a lot of the patterns go right from child size right up to adult size. So if you want to make something um, for your daughter or your son or whoever and yourself, you've got the option to do that, which I think is excellent value for money. Um, and the other really good endorsement I've, he I've heard about Jolly Patterns as well is that they do excellent sew along videos on YouTube as well. So um, the step by step sort of help for you along the way while you're making them, which you can refer to um, on YouTube. But apparently the videos are very concise and focused and to the point, which is also obviously a plus point. You haven't got to sit there watching a video for three hours. You know, you can just easily focus in on the bits that you need the help with. So that's great. Um, but I mentioned that they do a lot of sportswear patterns. They do everything else as well. There's an, some really nice everyday wear patterns on there. Um, there are the Eleanor pull-on trousers, um, which again, I've heard um, very highly recommended by so many different people. Um, in fact, that pattern actually won the um, Pants Pattern of the Year Award from Pattern Review in 2016. So that just shows you, you know, this is coming from a website where people post reviews of patterns that they've made. Um, you know, that is an absolutely fantastic endorsement um, from them. So definitely worth a try. And we've, we've that one has been very popular for us. Um, but then, yeah, they do some nice other sort of everyday wear patterns as well. There's a nice cocoon cardigan, um, which you should be able to see on the screen now. And I thought that was quite a nice little cover up for summer. Um, you can make that in a knit fabric. And I thought that this lovely um, jersey fabric that we stock would be ideal for that. Quite sort of summery and um, it's uh, lime green, black and white colourway. So, you know, you could wear that with something quite simple underneath. Simple black dress or perhaps some jeans and I think that would look really nice. Um, so yeah, plenty of choice on the Jolly patterns. Definitely get on and have a look at those. I'm very excited to try one of those too and I definitely will make those Eleanor trousers at some point. Um, that'll be the first time I've ever made trousers or fitted trousers. So I think it's a great pattern to start with um, and cut your teeth on trousers with because of the endorsement from Pattern Review. 
Um, so yeah, those are the new pattern lines that we've added. And then in terms of new pattern releases, we had a McCall's pattern release fairly recently. And uh, pattern 7591 really stood out to me. I mean, there's loads of nice designs in the new release, but that one in particular, um, you should be able to see it on the screen now, but I just think the neckline is absolutely lovely. I love the, it's almost like a racer back, um, but it's not sort of cur a curved racer back. It's a nice sort of straight racer back. Um, I love the blues on effect and the fact that you can use the ties on it. I love the fact that it comes in a maxi length or you can wear it to the knee. Um, I just think it's a really, really lovely pattern. I think it would look great made up in patterned fabrics or in plain fabrics. So uh, John Caldor Cadiz um, jersey fabric that comes in a really wide range of colours. That's a lovely top quality um, plain jersey fabric that you could make it up in. And then in terms of patterned fabrics, I thought this, this one again I think would look lovely. Um, made up in any of the versions of that dress, the McCall 7591. Um, we've also got this lovely peas blossom fabric which I think would be lovely as well so all of these things I'm thinking holidays, I'm thinking summer, I'm thinking nights out um, yeah just really lots of different options because it is a very sort of versatile dress um, this one I think this is a Hermione and we do this in two different colourways I think that would look great as well um, so yeah, you've got loads of different options with that dress. I just think it's a really lovely pattern with some lovely detail, lovely design. Um, so that was my pick from the McCall's pattern release. Um, Simplicity, we've had a new pattern release recently as well. Um, what was interesting about that was they've released a new pattern range that's um, specifically for hacking and putting your own twist on things. I've recently really got into that. Um, I've been really enjoying that, having an idea in my head. I quite often get my ideas from the high street or from the internet. I see something that I like and then I, I want to work out how I'm going to make it. So quite often I have to take a pattern and adapt it. Um, well, Simplicity have brought out this range of patterns which are for specifically with hacking in mind. So they give you the basics, they give you options to try, um, but then also, you know, you can hack it yourself as well, just using the sort of basic block that's provided. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think they're definitely worth a try. There's um, 8375, look like quite a nice option to me, just a simple... Um, knit dress but you can make a top as well and you can put different variations on it um, and there's a quite a, a sort of heavily um, it was quite heavily focused on knit patterns the new simplicity release was so if you're looking for any knit patterns that would be a good place to look um, I should mention that on our website we always group all of the new season patterns together so if you go to our website look under sewing patterns look under buy brand and then within that there'll be a section for new season patterns you can see all the latest releases there just to make it really easy for you um, so that's the simplicity release and then we had a vogue release it was going a, a few weeks back now but um there was one in particular there that i just felt i had to talk about which was vogue 9252 um, I just absolutely adore this pattern. I just think um, it's a, a body, princess seamed fitted bodice with little sort of spaghetti or rouleau straps. Um, and then it's quite a sort of full skirt, but it's got the dipped hem, which is very, very now. Um, absolutely bang on trend. Um, and I just think it would just make a really beautiful dress. I think the styling on the packet's great. So they've got a black and white skirt with a black bodice, um, which. I thought you could do with this lovely crepe fabric that we've got. One thing to mention about this pattern is you do need to make sure that the um, fabric is double sided or that it's not too much of a contrast between the wrong side and the right side. Just because of the dipped hem you will see the wrong side of the fabric but this crepe in this lovely black and white um, the contrast isn't too stark really um, from one side to the other so I definitely think you could get away with that. Um, for that dress and then you could do a black bodice to go with it as is on the pattern packet or you could do the whole thing in that fabric and I think it would look great um, then we've also got this peas blossom fabric which I think would look really nice made up in that dress as well and again this is um, double sided well it's not double sided but the wrong side isn't too much of a contrast against the right side so I think you definitely could get away with that one as well um, and then I also thought 
that um, this we've got this new um, polyester crepe as well which has just gone on the website recently um, another nice option for that dress because again the wrong side and the right side aren't too stark a contrast so you would be able to get away with that and I just think the colours are really nice on that as well um, and then we've also got a few other options as well so this is our Cassandra fabric which is a John Caldor um, and you could make a bodice in a, a sort of um, solid colour if you wanted to make the skirt in this or make the whole dress in it but again the contrast between the right and the wrong side is, is barely noticeable so that would be a good option and um, we've got that in a couple of colourways I think we've got that in purple as well and then there's this John Caldor Rosaline fabric as well which I think could look really nice got quite a holiday feel to it um, again the contrast between there is more of a contrast there but really it's it's a lovely um, fabric it's got like a nice sort of texture to it I think that would look really nice as well so those are just some of my suggestions and my thoughts but I really think that pattern is just absolutely beautiful um, and then finally onto the new look um, new pattern release which happened fairly recently and um, I particularly liked 6513 which is just a simple top pattern with a few different variations but I thought that the sleeveless version would look really really nice made up in some of our navy blue gingham um, and then you could just wear that with jeans or denim shorts or a navy skirt perhaps and I just thought that would be a really nice look for summer and, and in, on trend with the uh, gingham trend for the summer um, so yeah that's pretty much it from me for new pattern releases um, we are adding a load of new fabrics to the website in the coming weeks we've just recently added some more so we're adding them all the time so do keep coming back and having a look and I hope what you've liked you like what you've seen today please like and subscribe if you have and all of the links to everything you need is below so thanks very much see you next time mm -hmm.